Welcome to the Noreen Real Falcone Library Search Tips and Tricks tutorial. This video will provide some quick tips and tricks to help you use the library databases. A database is an electronic collection of scholarly sources organized so that researchers can look for the information they need. This means that they have extensive search features that make searching easier and more effective and that they contain the types of sources that are essential for scholarly research, like journal articles, including peer-reviewed journal articles, newspapers, books, and even primary source documents. While databases may seem overwhelming at first, they're an extremely helpful tool for scholarly research because that's exactly what they were designed for. Once you know how to use databases, you'll have a much easier time finding good sources. In this tutorial, I'll be showing examples from three major library databases. Academic Search Premier, JSTOR, and ProQuest Central. To access the library databases, go to lemoyne.edu slash library and click the Databases tab. From there, you can search for a database by name or Browse alphabetically. If you're researching an interdisciplinary subject or you're not sure where to start, you can use an interdisciplinary database, such as Academic Search Premier or ProQuest Central. Additionally, your research guides contain lists of recommended databases to use for different subjects and courses. Lemoyne has access to hundreds of databases. While each of these databases has different content in it, many of them have the same search features. Once you know how they work, you can put those skills to use in any database. To start, consider using the advanced search rather than the basic search. Not only does the advanced search have more search features, it also provides multiple search boxes, which makes it easier to perform searches with more than one search term. For example, most databases will provide a drop-down menu of Boolean operators between search boxes. Boolean operators, such as AND and OR, can be used to connect your search terms in different ways. AND will only return documents that contain both terms. So here, my search will only return documents that contain both the phrase Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee and Ella Baker. OR will return documents that use either term, as well as documents that use both terms. This search will return documents that contain the words Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, documents that contain the words Freedom Riders, and documents that contain both terms. If you're searching for a phrase with more than one word, like these example searches, put the phrase in quotations. If I search for Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee without quotation marks, the database looks for each word separately, so some of my results only contain the word student and are less relevant to my needs. But if I search for Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee in quotations, the database searches for the phrase with the words together in that order. So all of my results contain the exact phrase I need. Search fields are another useful database tool. You can limit each search box to a specific field. When you submit a search, the database searches for these keywords. If this dropdown is set to something like anywhere or all fields, the database will look for your search terms everywhere in the source. But you can also use the dropdown to make the database search for those terms in specific fields, such as the name of the author or the source's subject headings. Every database assigns subject headings, in other words, terms that describe what a source is about, to its sources. The Advanced Search screen also has filters that let you narrow down your search results.
Once you've submitted a search, you'll still be able to refine it. The exact filters available depend on the database. But three common helpful filters are the peer-reviewed checkbox, which limits your results to peer-reviewed journal articles, date published, which limits your results to sources published within a certain date range, and source type, which limits your results to certain types of sources, such as newspaper articles. Finally, you don't want a search to be too broad or too narrow. If your initial search returns too many sources or too few, Try again with different search terms or filters. Using databases is a process of trial and error. If you are searching well, you will end up continually revising and updating your searches based on your search results. Researching in a database can feel like reading a foreign language. If you need a translator, ask a librarian. We love answering questions. No question is too minor or too complicated. You can click this icon on any page of the library website to chat with a librarian. Or visit us at resources.library.lemoyne.edu slash ask us to talk to a librarian by chat, email, text, or appointment for 24-7 support.